Welcome back people to 30's Footy Rumours. We're here in the sunshine, sun's gleaming, ready to let you know what's going on in the transfer window. Right, first up, Morgan Schneiderlin, Southampton to Manchester United. 20 something million, looks like it's going to be done. The player I think is going to add something to Man United. A bit of steel, can pass the ball, can play the ball through the, the lines in midfield and get the ball from back to front. I think he's a good player, I think he's a good addition to the squad, especially if someone like Carrick, who's so influential for Man United, gets injured, I think this guy can step in and, uh, and, and help buffer that. I think he's a, a very good player, talented. Vidal to Arsenal. Personally, I don't know if this is going to happen. Um, there's been rumours, I think he's someone that will be great for Arsenal. He's kind of a perfect fit, he can get goals from midfield as well. Great work ethic. When you see him playing for Chile off of Juventus, he's someone who stands out with great energy. Um, and he's got experience of winning titles, and that is what Arsenal are missing at the moment, that experience to get them over the line. Sergio Ramos to Manchester City. Well, he was going to Man United the other day. Now he's going to Man City, he's, the agent's fine, he's doing well. He's producing the good management team have put him in with two of the biggest clubs in terms of financial power. Um, I just still can't see it. I think Madrid, he's going to stay there. Um, he's going to play alongside Varane or Pepe next season, they've got three top centre halves there and for them to let them go, I think, unless they've got another Varane coming through, which we've not heard about, I can't see them letting him go. It's a lot of money to spend on a guy who's 29 with no resale uh, value, so it's a huge, huge deal. But why is he going to go to Manchester City before Man United? Don't make sense to me, I can't understand it. Barini to West Ham from Liverpool. He hasn't really done much when he's been at Liverpool, to be honest with you. Um, I think he's got three goals in, in you know, 40, 50 appearances. But saying that, he went on loan to Sunderland and done very well. I spoke to Gus Poy at the World Cup over, over a coffee and he mentioned him. He wanted to take him, I think, to Sunderland on a permanent after doing very well there. I think he got 10 goals in 30 or 40 games. So he's shown that he has the capability to do that. I think there's more to him than just goal scoring as a striker. You can't judge him too much on his goals. He's got a good work ethic and he's, he's, he's hungry. Um, I think he'll be someone who'll be all right for West Ham if they did get him. Um, but it's whether uh, West Ham can make that deal happen. Good shout out to my mate Simon Billich. Good luck with the job at, uh, at West Ham. I heard Julian Dix is going in as number two maybe. That's the rumours on the street. West Ham legend. Good package. Fingers crossed they do well. So good luck boys at West Ham. Up the Amers. Seamus Coleman from Everton to Manchester United. Um, he will be a good addition to Man United. Up and down, good delivery, gets the odd goal here and there and can defend. I think he's a modern day type fullback, does everything and I think he's a, he's a very good player but I just don't know if you're going to be able to get him out of Everton. Uh, he's one of their best players, he's one of the probably, I don't know in terms of his contract, what his situation is, how long he's got left but I think if Man United can get him, he definitely would add something to the, to the Man United squad. Phil Neville, assistant manager at Valencia. Oh yes Phil, love it. You're on fire. There's a beach there as well, you can top your tan up. Sort your highlights out, you'll be flying out there. I think it's a great opportunity for him. If you're an assistant manager, a coach or anything like that and you get an opportunity to go and work in Spain with somewhere like Valencia, the location as well, it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity for him. I think Phil will do well. He can just coach at, um, at Man United for a year under David Moyes. I've done more coaching than him then when he was there, but he's, he's learned off me, done, he's learned a few tips here and there for me, so he, I'm sure he'll learn him in good stead for the future. Good luck, Phil. Keep putting them cones out. Benteke from Aston Villa to Liverpool. I think if Liverpool get him, it'll be a really good signing for them. Um, he's someone, when he's on form, I think he terrorises defences. Last season, he'd come back from injury, got tools at back into the season, he probably with the catalyst for, for Villa staying up. He, he's someone who could get you 20, 25 goals a season easily in a, in a good team that gets more opportunities than he's going to get at Villa. I see this as being a, a step in the right direction for Liverpool. It's just getting him, whether they're going to be able to, to, to get him. And they're going to have the money if they're going to sell Sterling. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see, but he's someone I would be saying, yeah, good signing for Liverpool. England's Lionesses, straight through to the semis, putting them into shame, love it. I sent them a little video the other day just wishing them well. I'm going to do another one because obviously I'm that lucky charm and I want to be a part of this. So uh, good luck, girls. Showing them an hour it's done and we're all behind you. Come on, England. Well, people, that's 30's footy rumours over for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go back inside, get my groove on. Take care. See you next time. For more updates, 
click through and subscribe to the channel. You ain't gonna wanna miss this.